Today we're going to tie the cranberry tichel. Look at this color. It's like a rich red cranberry. It's so, it's amazing. There's a few tichels I could wear every day. This is one of them. And what's funny is some people have told me that I guess scouring stores this season, they found this tichel in other places and they were so excited that we were able to get it for you. So super excited. Um, the cranberry also comes in teal. So this is the teal. And I'm going to show you what I did to get to this point with the teal. I'm not going to take this off if that's okay with you. Basically, on the cranberry scarf is a border, and the center is plain. So if I would just fold it in the middle, then what would be by my head is the blue, which is an amazing teal. You can look really good in this teal and really warm, but... Uh, if you want to really maximize this scarf, then you've got to fold it at the front. Those of you who have the tapestry know exactly what I mean. Okay, so you're going to basically use this to hold like the tapestry, where you put it on just like that and you have your crown. Now, when I put on the red one, I actually have my tails uneven, one short and one long. This one is really long, which is amazing. And I'll show you my favorite way to tie it. Actually, I just had the joy of being in a documentary, and I wore this tichel in the documentary with a sari instead of this leopard thing. But I'm going to wear this leopard snatch from a giving cart. So, right now, I have on cranberry tichel. Good to go. After that, I place a sash, a scarf, a sari, any of those on. And again, one side longer, one side shorter, but... Uh, with my sash, I want to measure it so that this end is going to match up with this end. Just like that. And it'll make like another layer on my shoulder, which is really nice. And where you place it depends on the look that you want. If you want a really textured look, you're going to keep the, this um, pattern right next to your sash. If you want, you can play with it a little by moving it further back or even further back to have another look. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. Okay, and I'm tying it. There you go. Okay, what comes next? This is the easy part. Up it goes. The end, the long end of the cranberry. Okay, little technique here. Let's do it again. You take the end with the crown print on it. Remember that crown that was just by your head? You fold it in just a little bit, and you take the whole thing, and you lift it up, 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 and over. Now, if this is messy, not to worry, because we can fix it. As long as you grab it right here, you can play, you can fix, you can do what you want. And like I said, this is very much like a tapestry. It's basically learning the technique for getting the most out of a scarf that doesn't have a pattern all over it. So once you know this, you're going to be just fine. Okay. And we are going to bring this end up and around, high up, and tuck it in. I'll show you how that's going. all your pieces in. Oh, it's a little bumpy up there. There you go. This is the kind of scarf that stays extremely secure. So once you tuck it in, you're going to be fine. And now I have one last piece. And the last piece is going... So this piece is going to go up and over as well. The thing about this type of red, uh, let's turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I love it. Yay! The thing about this type of red is that you can wear it really strong, like I'm wearing it today, um, with, you know, dark, foresty colors, and you could really, um, very elegant but also kind of heavy and you can put, I would put, if I, if I had all my things with me, I think I would like to put a little chain over here. And that would be just a very rich look. But it's soft enough that if you wear it by itself without anything or if you wear it with even a kind of rose with it, you will bring it down. It has a warmth to it. So even though I'm wearing it with leopard, don't think, oh wow, it's like so strong. No, this is a scarf you can do a lot with. And again, you don't have to have this crown. Um, but this is how it looks today. And I like it, and I hope you like it too. And I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day.
This is a PS, it's like a bloopers. I walked out of the room and forgot to put on my new favorite accessory. Favorite. Here it goes, watch this. Beautiful tickle. Fantastic do. Can't beat it.